little bit. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Okay, this could all be my bloopers at the end. You haven't seen. Oh no. <laughs> all right, take 14. Hi guys, Michelle here with the Traveling Epicurean. I'm here with my good friend Louie. And many of you know that I love a cook who's passionate about a family recipe. And Louie's going to share with us a family recipe that's been a tradition for years. Homemade in yokis, right? That's right. <laughs> um, so how many years have you been making these in yokis? Oh, I don't know. It's been t probably 20 years or 20 more. 20 years? Probably, probably more than that. Wow, well, that's wonderful. Yeah, I can't yeah. wait to um, eat these. And you made some wonderful sauce and meatballs yep. too. Sauce is ready for this, so we're going to be having red sauce with this. Ooh, and yeah. now are we calling it gravy or sauce? Gravy, if you live around these parts and yeah. in Massachusetts. Probably would have called it sauce. Sauce. Yeah. Okay. Either or, it's going to be fantastic. Why don't we show everybody what we're going to need to get these gnocchis going? Okay. Okay. All right. We have the rice potato that has been cooling on this uh, cutting board. I have some ricotta cheese, One which minute. I will not use all of it. Okay. I'll mix maybe half of it. Okay. Uh, we have an egg. One egg. Mm -hmm. Some Parmesan cheese. Okay. That looks about maybe a third of a cup. Yep. Okay. Uh, about a cup and a half of uh, just regular flour. Okay. And then I have, uh, we're going to put some pepper in here and some salt. Okay, wonderful. And now you rice these potatoes when they were hot. That was important. Yes, you said, that, right? that's very important because that makes the gnocchi uh, lighter. Okay. Yeah, otherwise, it becomes much more heavier. All right, very good. Well, why don't we take a peek at how you boil those potatoes? So you got the water boiling. Did you salt the water? I'm about to salt the water. Okay. I've got two whole, uh, these are russet potatoes, Yeah. two Russets whole potatoes. make the best gnocchis, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. And they, and I don't peel them, okay. I leave them whole, okay. so that they don't get, the potato itself doesn't get all soaked up with water and exactly. it becomes really starchy. Okay. So we're going to peel them later and I'm going to, I'm going to just drop them in the boiling water and let them uh, boil whole. <laughs> so Louie, what do you have in this incredible sauce here? Some meatballs, yeah. hot sausage. And uh, San Marzano uh, tomatoes. Oh, yummy. A little red wine, little garlic, garlic, pepper, uh, pepper basil, oh, yeah. oregano, and uh, some salt, a little red hot pepper flakes, and some red wine in there, too. Yeah. It's been cooking for about, right now, it's been cooking for about, what, two and, two and a half hours. Okay. Maybe. So that's the, the sauce, the yeah. gravy we're going to have with the gnocchis, right? Yep. Yummy. Can't yes. wait. It's been 40 minutes. Okay. We're ready to take out. I put a fork in them just to see that it was soft sure. and pushed in easily. I'm going to pull these out. And I got tongs out because I need to take all the skin off of them while they're hot. It's soft, so it comes off. The skin comes off pretty easily. If I lose a little potato, I don't care. There's plenty of potato here. Well, all together, it's, uh, I think all together, it's like a pound and a half. pound and a half of potato. Okay. So we'll get all that off. And then we're going to uh, take them while they're hot and rice them and it's because i i don't want to uh if you let them get cold and rice them yeah then gnocchi is not going to be as uh light afterwards oh look how pretty that is when it comes out do you like that ricer i do okay. i have one at home i love using that thing i know the best makes the greatest potatoes so i'll just spread it out on the table on here a little bit just okay. to give it just some uh I'll cool off a little bit a lot of people like to do the volcano of flour and potato and mix it all together. Yeah. I used to do that. I think it's kind of messy, so I, I just do a mixing bowl. Okay, you're rolling, Louie. All right, I'm going to throw the egg in there. Okay. And uh, just beat it up a little bit. I'm going to throw all the uh, potato in there. So I'm just going to mix the potato in with the egg a little bit. And uh, I'm going to also add in some ricotta cheese. Should we add about half of that? About half of that. So it's about eight, eight ounces. So I'm also going to add in the Parmesan cheese. And I want to put some salt in there. And I'm going to uh, grate as much pepper as you feel you like. I like a lot of pepper and everything. Yeah. And I'm going to mix all that up. Before I introduce the flour, I'm going to mix all this stuff together. Okay. 
Is that because you don't want to develop the glutens in the flour, so you're going to get everything mixed beforehand? Uh, you know, I, I don't know. I, <laughs> I, I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> you don't know the science behind you. I don't know the science. I'm not a scientist. <laughs> I got to start adding in some flour. And I like how you're doing this by hand. You're not even, you know, you don't need a mixer. No. Uh, well, I don't have a mixer, so it would well, be nice. <laughs> so I'm going to add in close to a cup and a half. I, I got to start using my hands so I can feel what's going on. Okay, that's important with the gnocchi, so I find that you're gonna you really know. You're gonna know if it's wet or you know. You got to feel that before I start just throwing in all the flour. It's starting to feel good. So I don't want to. This is feeling pliable. I want it to be like this. You don't want to need. You don't want to sit here and knead it forever. Okay. It's, it's all mixed now. That looks beautiful. And it's it's, nice and it's, it's a little sticky. So that's going to be good right there. That's really good. It's got nice it's meaty my mother's, It's my grandmother's recipe that was given to my mother. And then it's I've, I've nice. a little modified it a little that, bit, know, but it's based meatball, on that. You put the meatballs in the sausage and raw. Yeah. Which gives it that nice meaty flavor. Yeah. yeah. It's really good. It's good. It's depth. It's yeah. got good depth. Where's my spoonful? Right here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. It's hot. Wow. That's absolutely Ooh, delicious. That is good. Really good. Not good. We're awesome. We'll be back. Okay, Louie, we are ready for All right. your instructions. All right. I'm happy I have this nice uh, apron <laughs> that Michelle got for me, personalized. Yes, you like because that, Because huh? the flower part gets you a little messy. Yes, yeah, we're going to be covered in it. So I'm going to cut off a little chunk of this. Okay. And we're going to roll it out. We're going to try to make a long... It'll, you know, they'll sure. break them apart. I want to roll this out and make a nice long rope out of it. Now I'm going to go down the line and cut these. And what do you think you're cutting them at? Like a half an inch? Yeah, I'd say a half inch. Okay. That's me. You can make it any size you want. Oh, look how pretty those are. It's the, the beauty of homemade stuff. It's not all uniform out of yeah. some machine somewhere. Absolutely. I want to roll them out. I'm going to take the, a fork. Okay. And I take my thumb and just kind of roll it across like that, and it puts these nice little grooves in it. So. Just a light touch, roll it across with my thumb, and that's it. They don't know. They don't always behave. Yeah, they don't. <laughs> but you know, you kind of get into a system. I find when I make gnocchis, right? Like that one was weird, you know. But I'm not going to worry about it because yeah. it's all going to taste it's good. It's still going to taste the same. This is for the holding the gravy. The lines to me are just the gravy carrier. Yeah. You know. Well, I hold my fork. This way. Yeah. Right. I can see and I roll them off that way. Not that it really matters. I don't think it matters. Does it really matter? Is that what your dad taught you? I don't remember. You know, he didn't ever roll off the fork. He used to uh, just put his thumb across them. So they were all like, uh, you know, just had that depression on them. When we have ham and gnocchi. See, I'm trying to get the in on when we should show up at the front door, <laughs> right? So we're here. Um, it's Easter. Christmas we need is be on the um, text list. Christmas text is list. Okay, Christmas is all seafood. seafood. Thanksgiving is ravioli, spaghetti, and and then maybe some and then tur maybe, maybe some turkey. <laughs> so you guys do the seven fish at the Christmas? Uh, we don't ever quite make it to seven, but we you know we have a, we have a bunch of them going. How am I doing here, Louie? Looking good. Those look beautiful. Yeah, see, this is a minor. This is nice. Mine look like a kindergarten. Like you, you, I rolled many in a new one. I could tell. You could have done the video. <laughs> she has. I have, but, you know, it's nice to do a different recipe. That's what, you know, I'm not pushing a passion to cook is all about is following your own recipe from your own family, right? Because everybody does everything differently. And that's what makes the recipe yeah, special. Family recipes, I think, like even my the sauce that I made, it, it's, it gets, uh, it evolves. Like it's definitely, I'm not pushing hard it's based on my mother's, which is based on my grandmother's. But sure. I've, but I've you modified it. Two cents into I've it, got right? my own thing going on with it. Rachel's exactly. come along and added some stuff to it. And All right, Rach.
These and yogis came out so beautiful. Look at all our hard work. They Can, look beautiful. They look really pretty. Like Can you get away from this plate of meatballs. Put the little meatball down and back away from the house. I came home and one day there's a, a torch in our house and a thing of creme brulee. With his girlfriend. So Ed and Catherine brought it over? The, the two gourmets? Oh yeah, Ed and Catherine. They have all the cooking equipment. Yes, they so certainly do. Well, I, I, I had this open, so I took this open. Okay, cheers. 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 You're going to cheer with me, Cheryl? <laughs> <laughs> That's my wife. So I'm going to get that nice whirlpool going, and I'm going to drop in a few at a time. Just let them kind of roll in there. I can't throw them all in at once. Exactly. If you throw them all in at once, it, it, they, you risk them all sticking together. And, and as they float to the top, we'll uh, scoop them out and put them in a bowl. It, it only takes like three minutes for them to be done. So it's starting not to boil so much, and I, I'm gonna like let these go for a bit. Okay. I want the water so the to always to come back up. Yeah, right? I want the temperature to come back up. I don't want the water to stop boiling. Okay. It's no big deal because we we'll scoop them off as it's done. You no need to freak out about it. Yeah. So those are floating, Louis. So they're floating. Yeah. I'm gonna pull them out and make sure I don't take a lot of water with them. Yeah. And I'm gonna put them in a, a separate bowl and add a little sauce. Oh, they're gonna be good. You're looking this is going to be good. We're going to be psyched. Yeah. It's nice having a couple of people help you roll them out. They're really not that hard. It's one of my favorites. I mean, I love gnocchi. We got some extra uh, boats here for just plain yeah, old right, sauce. We'll okay, sounds good to me. Put I the love meat that. in one bowl and the sauce so in another. Some sauce in those. Perfect. How are you guys doing? Are you excited that the dinner's almost being served? Yeah. Bella, wait till you try these meatballs too. Really, really, really good. Owen, how do you feel about these in Are these one of your favorites? You look at that smile. He's like, absolutely. So we did a fine job here. Awesome job. Thank you. Wow, look at this pretty table. Oh my goodness. Manja, manja. Amazing. Very excited. You guys look very excited as well. I, I'm, I'm about to lose it. The soccer. Soccer, yeah. Yeah. I see so from your mom that you guys are doing well in tennis. Well, so this is really exciting. Thank you for having us all over Thanks there. Thanks for coming. And this is really amazing. Gorgeous. So amazing. Louis, thank you for doing all this work. You're welcome. Ciao. 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 Wonderful and Yokies at the traveling epicurean.com. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next week. Bye. Ciao! Bye. The end. Time to eat. Woohoo!